Hey guys, it's Mr. Chu, and here's what you're going to learn today. By the end of this video, you should be able to find the explicit and recursive formula for geometric sequences. And so for part A, we're given our sequence as negative 3, 15, negative 75, and 375. In the previous video, we found that the common ratio was negative 5. That is, to find the next term in the sequence, we would multiply the previous one by negative 5. To find the explicit formula, we will take our first term, which in this case is negative 3, and multiply it by the common ratio raised to the n minus 1 power. For the recursive formula, again, two parts. You need to state your first term, which again is negative 3, and then the second part is a sub n equals your common ratio, which is negative 5, times a sub n minus 1. Now in part b, we were given two non-consecutive terms in your geometric sequence. We were given the third term and the sixth term. You can find out how we got two in the previous video. To find a1, we need to set up an explicit formula. And so you can pick either the sixth term or the third term to work with. I'm going to go with the third term. So we'll set up our equation as 12 equals, we don't know the first term, times our common ratio, which is 2, to the n minus 1 power, where n is 3 in this case, because you have the third term. And then we're going to solve for a1. So I'll simplify to get 2 squared, and 2 squared is 4, so that means that our first term is 3. So then the explicit formula will follow a sub n equals your first term, which is 3, times your common ratio to the n minus 1 power. And then for the recursive formula, again two parts, we'll state our first term, which is 3, and then a sub n equals your common ratio, which is 2, times a sub n minus 1. And that's it.